<laughs> it's not an awkward moment what it do what it is what it was this is your boy Pocho, one of the Pocho live podcast today today we are reacting pretty quickly here i have to say you know we're gonna give a little check into these foods and yes i am wearing no shirt because they're not wearing no shirt so, so i had to keep the vibe going you know what i mean you feel me i didn't work out for no reason you feel me but hey what it do, people? Anyway, we you know we out here documenting this buffoonery. So what happened tonight, man? I was kicking back. I'm just want to give you a real quick insight into my life. I'm kicking back with a booty full female, kicking back on my king size Cali bed, relaxing, smoking on something like that, whoop de whoop wop, and just having a good you know Sunday night watching Hoodstocks, one of the dopest podcasts that I've actually appreciated for many years now. And you know, at one time people were seeing me might come up a little bit, and uh, he said, "Who should I interview?" And everybody started tagging homeboy, but no love. He deleted the post because I don't think he wanted to interview with somebody from up north. I don't know what's up with these LA podcasters and artists that think that they can get it by themselves and they don't understand that we got to get it together. That's one thing about the Bay Area that I appreciate is that they understand that we, we're stronger together. And while there is drama here, like everywhere, you know what I mean? I do think we support our people better in the Bay Area than uh, the homies are doing in Los Angeles right now. And a real quick little side note, people always, why are you worried about what's going on in L.A., bro? First of all, I'm a grown adult. I'm a cultural critic. I don't look at lines where you live. It doesn't matter. Whatever interests me, whatever's going on with brown people, I want to know and I want to talk about it. And I ain't going to be afraid to speak on it. I don't care where you're from and what you're doing, all right? I just wanted to get that clear. So Hussox has been around for about six years, I think. I would say it's one of the dopest L.A. podcasts. It, it caters to Southsiders. Lucky's a Southsider from Highland Park. Their enemies are Avenue. Some of the homies that I knew. Shout to Matt. Shout to the Assassins. Shout to... Uh, oh, I'll keep with other clicks. I'll relax on the other clicks right now. But shout out to everybody over there. So he speaks on a lot of things. He's a really good podcaster, I think, because one of the reasons I was actually telling him the girl, one of the reasons why I think he's such a dope podcaster is that he's not afraid to say that he's still on drugs. He's not as afraid to say that he's you know, flawed that he still looks at women or this or that, whatever, like all the little things. A true podcaster, the best podcasters, are the ones to show all their dark side, their light side, their funny side, all sides of them. Just like in a real conversation with a human being, anytime are open to show more vulnerability or like, you know, a little deeper person that you're talking with will, will, will get deeper because you're inviting them to get deeper with you right? Lucky is really good at inviting people to be open and he gets a lot of people that have never opened up to open up and that's what he's good at. He's not afraid to be himself and I love podcasters that are not afraid to be themselves. So that's one of the reasons why I watch Hoodstock. Anyway, we're watching Hoodstock. From the beginning, it kind of looks like it's going bad. Like, even when from the start, they're both kind of talking over each other. You can tell that they already started sipping. Basically, what happens in a lot of interviews podcasters is this you have to learn how to manage your the artists you got to learn how to manage these dudes bro they're animals so if you notice lucky in this interview go check it out uh hoodstocks just tap in hoodstocks and lefty gunplay you have to be able to manage just like you're if you're a teacher you have to be able to manage your class imagine having 30 kids can you ima imagine but you have to be able to manage that and manage it well not even not just manage it but manage it well was <laughs> which is not easy to manage his own podcast and it is hard to manage a man like lefty gunplay i can imagine i've never been in the room with lefty but i know i could handle him and lefty that's why you should have came to me because you wouldn't have been dealing with some of this tom Foley. so in this interview i just want to drop a couple little voices of reasons Kind of like the podcast, shout out to Nino America, Foods to Men. I'm going to point out things that are going on in the tomfoolery community and show how we need to, how men should respond. Because I make so much mistakes every day as a man. So I'm just trying to find a better way to be a better man, to be honest. And I'm sad, but I'm going to have to point out when we're acting like fools, giving some examples, examples and guidance to how we can act like men. Because what happened right here was more tomfoolery. This is more of the reasons why this is more of the reasons why people aren't gonna take us serious, people. Because of this stuff like this. Stuff like this is why people don't take us serious. Because we can't even get along with our own people in our own cities, let alone people in other cities, other regions. And all we do is bicker with each other. Am I adding to the negativity? I don't really care, bro. I'm gonna comment on these things because we're making ourselves look bad. You feel me? And yeah, even me, look at got my shirt off, bro. You feel me? Shout out to my barber. You feel me? Shout out to Eddie. HD barbershop in the heart of Rosalind. I still be in the hood. You feel me? Supporting brown business. Man, today I real quick, side note to this weekend I was bodyguarding a vato from a neighborhood that our neighborhood still go at it today. And he hired me to to protect him so i just want to tell you young men and women out there that are gangbanging or doing crazy things in the streets 
some of these people are going to be could become people you work with people you become families with so don't take it too serious because everything is temporary and you'll never know who will be there and it's sad to say and a lot of people can attest to this but i get more love from some of my enemies than i get from my own people isn't that sad but it's also beautiful right it's a beautiful struggle like like lefty says <laughs> That was a homegirl that was watching the, the, the podcast with me. So we're watching the podcast, enjoying ourselves like, you know, any little brown couple, you know, little couple watching, watching, uh, you know, this Chicano culture at night. You know, that, that's one thing I like that we have, though. We have like some kind of like culture now to go watch podcasters, fighters, singers, dancers, all this. But now we need to bring it together. We're watching this and you can see that it's starting to go left because lefty can't get right. And you can tell that it's two people's ego. Well, I want to talk a lot about ego. I want to talk about ego, people. Edging God out. Ego. Our ego, for me, my ego is what still gets me in trouble. I almost crashed out on this uh, secure, a fellow security guard this weekend because he, he asked a couple questions that I thought were inappropriate. Now, I still think they're inappropriate, but I didn't need to crash out. And I use, and I didn't crash out, but I almost did. Even when I just crash out a little bit, that it hurts me more than it hurts the people I crash out on. But also, that at least I'm not crashing out as much as I used to at the higher levels. And I got to be grateful for that. So, anybody dealing with anger issues, holler at your boy. You can DM, DM me at official underscore poacher one meta verified my full name is there dm me back to headstock so they're talking over each other you can tell they're starting to drink egos are involved one thing some of the guidance i would give lucky and it's cool to have the boys there again i actually like uh, droops i think his name is shout out to him but having a bunch of people in the background the artists sh you should always just bring one person with you your lady your manager you know if lefty came with a bunch of homies he should have just came with solace you know it, whoever's working the podcast and the boards whoever, whoever's the talent and that's it they had homies in there they had bozo became a south side party and you know how those end they don't end well usually it, it goes on and goes on and one thing that what you sh also shouldn't do too much is have breaks because what happens i don't know if you've ever worked out or you've done something where you're doing it or you're like even working in the yard and you stop working in the yard and you got to get back into it you know you got to get back into the vibe you know so when you're podcasting try to podcast all the way through and be done with it. because when you try to go back and see you think it's good because you need a little break but what the reality is you're never the same kind of you don't have that same especially if you have a good vibe going and then with the problem another problem i would say is that you introduce alcohol to a bunch of fools that don't know how to drink <laughs> these fools don't know how to drink drink dog they do not they do not know how to drink you know what i mean and uh so they don't know how to podcast and they don't know how to drink and that's another problem about a lot of these bottles not being trained in podcasting or being trained in any of this they're wilding out and that's what makes them popular but what also makes them have the same the same sponsors you gotta look at what these guys have they have tattoo artists they have marijuana brands they have the same kind of sponsors the honey pack stuff i mean viagra selling that to young people and i'm not trying to be disrespectful but let's be honest bro like he might get all these views and all this stuff, but how in six years, how many, like no major corporate sponsors, no major I, corporate anything, right? And that's because these vatos think that they go on their first thing, Chicano rap artists, that's what they did. They went for their first thing they knew to do is to talk about gangbanging and their lifestyle, which is cool. But most people can't relate, Lucky. Most people didn't go to prison. And even in gangs, most people in gangs actually didn't go to prison. You, there's this narrative that most people in gangs go to prison. Most people in gangs have kids get out of gangs do something else it's not actually like there's a small po po uh, portion of a gang that is really with the business and they go die go to hospitals and go to prison that's where guys that do that me i was like nah i love women and uh this whole dying and going to prison i'm uh, a little claustrophobic and i'm and it's a little early you know what i mean so i think i'm gonna stick around a little bit and go to college and that's what i did santa monica college cal state northridge university of southern california and san francisco state two master degrees a bachelor's degree a A degree all southern california schools except for san francisco of course shout out to colleges universities make sure if you're going to go to the university though that you really want to do that because it's a lot of work and if you know a business or a passion i found photography and it changed my life barely i mean i use my degrees as analytical you know getting back to this so Le lefty and and lucky are just drinking and they took that break right and they go out and the thing upon with breaks too is they go drink more and then i think lucky gave uh lefty shrooms lucky and lefty man gave him shrooms so then he started to triple a little bit and so when they're talking he heard him say f you and then the lucky was like f you dog like something like that you know like a homie would and he took it the wrong way and the problem with lefty again these look at both of these guys have problem lucky from hoodstars has a problem of going to um i guess you could just be just be honest being too ghetto being you can't be if they they even say don't be full tard only go half tard 
You can't go full ghetto, fool. You got to go half ghetto. <laughs> Come on, Lucky. You know this. You can't go full ghetto. You got to go what we call ghetto fabulous. That's where you can get brands in and they think you're authentic and you're like a voice of your people. But if you're just going to, you know, wild out all the time, people, again, two unpredictable coming together, a crucial combination. Why Lefty lost 200, oops, $200,000 from his deal because WAC 100 said that he's unpredictable and other and on a major podcast. And yes, podcasters important because they influence people's minds, their thoughts, and their feelings, you know? And so just remember that. That's love calling right there, baby. And just remember that. Shout out to D. Uh, and so just remember that. And all this stuff lives forever, you know? So you got, they just what, cr crashed out and with three, 4,000 people watching them, you know, including us. And it, did, it didn't look nice. It, it Even the girl was like, was that real? It was sad to see bro it was sad to see two intelligent dudes that have a lot of talent and things that offer the world crash out and show each other how dumb they can act and this is what i'm trying to tell you guys about this food culture it's not good for us because it enables this kind of behavior that it's okay to crash out that's okay to talk about prison that it's okay to talk about all these details that none of us would ever know about if we, we'd never gone to prison, bro. If you guys never talked about prison, none of us would ever know. The only snitches are these fools that come from prison and come out and talk about all these things that probably shouldn't have never been talked about. You should have left that in prison. You know what I mean? But Lefty can't. And the one thing is Lefty keeps the whole interview, keeps talking over Lefty, uh, Lucky, keeps talking over and won't let him have a moment. And that's because Lefty likes to hear his own voice. You know, when you're drinking, you don't you really don't care. You know what I mean? And so it was just sad to see how alcohol really changed an interview and how it changed men. Alcohol really takes men backwards into town to becoming fools. It makes you again. It gives you another reason to act like a fool and to lose opportunities. These two brothers are stronger together. And now they're going to have to either chalk this issue up to being drama. And yeah, they might go viral. And it's going to be on all the blogs. But overall, it's not a good look. And, and if you see the black people looking over, like, what are these Chicanos doing over here, bro? And the white people are like, oh, look at them colonize as ever. Man, the, we didn't have to do it. The Spanish did it for us. And that's why we have to decolonize ourselves. They're, you know, decolonize ourselves and, 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 and really speak on this stuff, bro. You know? It's, it's uncomfortable. It's, I'm being a party pooper, but at least I'm speaking to the topic and trying to make a better way for our people, bro. You shouldn't be talking. You shouldn't be drinking in public. The only platform I think that does it well is probably drink champs because they have it structured. They have it's more like a gentlemanly thing. They have, you know, they take little shots. They and they do get lit and they used to get lit more than they do now. They're more professional. Interview DJ EFN. You know, now it's not FN. It's DJ EFN. Shout salute to the homeboy Miami. He's actually from Orange County. Dana, not Santa Ana. Shout out to the OC. So go check out that interview with the homie DJ EFN. But Drink Champs does it well because they have it organized with people kind of serving the drinks and everything. This was just a free for all. And how many times did they have to tell the people in the back to be quiet? And Lefty was like, man, do you guys want a podcast? Whatever you guys are talking about must be more important. One thing I like about Lefty, bro, is I was rooting for him kind of the whole time because he did stick up for himself. He did show that he he did show that he was you know not afraid you know confronting an issue that that he's dealing with and i thought it was courageous but at the same time he should have waited till after the podcast and addressed it but he said oh it's gonna go viral that you said f me and i didn't do nothing about it again everybody ego perception what, worrying about what other people think and these things are, are very dangerous for our people people and i just really want you to think about this when you're moving forward in your lives, in your professions, and even for me, ego edging God out. They say ego is like a 500 pound gorilla working out in the in the parking lot, waiting for you to come out and get your ego going. And it'll knock you down, edging God out, thinking you're bigger than the program. Basically, the program is God. You know, God's way, God's love, God's grace. That's the program. You think you can run your own program, but you can't run your own program. It's God's. So there's God's program, and you think you can run your own program, and it doesn't work, and it ends very bad. So basically, these two people have volatile personality they're volatile personalities you know and so they start drinking and they start misunderstanding each other and you can tell that they start getting annoyed with each other because lucky's tired of being nobody talking to him not being heard and lefty feels like he's not being heard or really being cared about like while he's speaking i think lefty looks for a father figure like he says and lucky's older so he you know he's gonna be hurt by this but that's the other thing is that lefty should have let it go lefty come on bro you didn't say it
It's not an awkward moment. It's not an awkward moment. Bro, I, and the other thing was that Lucky apologized. He even apologized to the younger homie when, honestly, he didn't really need to apologize. You don't really need to apologize to a homie, especially when you say something that isn't so, like, a, like malicious. He didn't say it with a bunch of malicious intent. And so, come on, like, but even then, just to just to make things cool, he apologized, you know? And I thought that was cool. Again, Lefty's like, oh, it's not, it's not this. But then he keeps bringing it up. He keeps bringing it up. He keeps bringing it up. And it just keeps going. You know, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. And it's like, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And they eventually Lefty gets up and calls him for a fade and says that I don't even, his, 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 his uh, titties in the picture. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me change this. And he calls him for the fade. And he, of course, he doesn't want to. He, and he says that 47 year old man or whatever, grown man strength. Or he says something about being 47. You don't want none of this. And it's true, man. I'll tell you, I'm, I just turned, you know, I'm in my 40s now and I just turned and, and, and you do have this grown man strength that I've never had when I was younger. But it's just sad to see my people ending a live like this that they couldn't work it out that food's gone wild vibes food community vibes tomfoolery you know how are people going to ever be taken serious when we can't take ourselves serious lucky went won't interview with me i guess I, I told you guys before that he had said who should i interview a bunch of people tagged me and he deleted the post so you know you can tell he hasn't had uh, gold toes on there yet he hasn't had any real northerners on there or nothing like that not that it matters but you know people from up north at least or even any artists so he's keeping it really south side which made him popular but it won't sustain you lucky you can't keep it south side forever homie and why is lucky over here or lefty over here talking about wanting to inspire the world when he's dividing the world he divided his own people the north don't mess with them half of the south don't mess with them and texas don't mess with them. you know some people in texas you know so lefty get it together lucky get it together god love for you guys but we gotta we gotta do better dog we gotta do better and i'm gonna pray for us man because i really hope that we can come together and i just want this i'm not even gonna, i'm not trying to hate on lucky or lefty i hope the best from i hope they get sober i hope they stop using using i respect them for being open and authentic but at a certain point you're showing too much to us bro it's it's there's they say go you can only go half tard don't go full tard you know you gotta go half ghetto don't go full ghetto so lefty and lucky please y'all stop being so ghetto bro and be a little ghetto fabulous bro make our people be proud take yourself serious don't drink all the time don't use all the time if you want to blow up you gotta be somebody i know this from personal experience i've had many moments when i burned bridges because they felt like i was unpredictable and i was and sometimes i still am and it's a problem so i just want to reach out hope the best for you fools the reality is man you guys don't mess with me i don't mess i'm at oh real quick and this is a little just the hater world saying kind of like oh we want to in my reaction i i react to it but like oh we want to be part of the club no we don't want to be part of the club we just think it's funny bro i'm not trying to be i'm not from up north i'm not a hater world. i'm not a northern podcaster stop it with the with the titles and everything i'm just me this is like buffoonery bro we're embarrassed by it you guys are embarrassing us you know with, with all this gossip and drama down there so we're just like what the hell Heck, this doesn't happen up here and if it does it happens behind closed doors like any family most family drama happens in the house you keep it out of the public you know and try to you know address it privately same time why not address it publicly and try to get over it people i think that they should podcast again i think the my, some of the some of my final thoughts i think that the again this full culture is enabling characters to come out of the woodwork and act a fool because they know it gets views and then it makes it for, cool for other fools to start acting fools and it creates a cycle of Tom fools, a bunch of fools acting fools for views. And yeah, it's entertaining for the moment, but it's not going to last and we will not make history this way. You think Pancho Villa would be proud of us? Zapata would be proud of us? Living legend right now, Dolores Huerta, Cesar Chavez, any of these people. Forgot the Vato from Valenzuela, the Dodgers pitcher. You know what I mean? The guy that made Cheetos. I don't know, just anybody. Jenny 6 9 I'm just playing. You think any of these people would be proud of us, bro, acting this way? And yes, I have my shirt off because I'm doing the same vibe as them these bottles left and came back and were all sweaty and and all musty and again i told you they were drinking and lefty or lucky gave lefty some shrooms so it was just basically all non-gentlemanly unprofessional lucky was trying his best but i understand in the end if i had to go with the verses of who was more annoying was lefty because lefty had no he says he had media training but you can't keep talking over people trying to ask you questions and then questions the questions that are asked of you 
and then just go off on other tangents because you think it's cool and then complain that everybody's not being quiet enough and look at me you know so that was childish you're acting like a fool fools are like children and then lucky bro you went too far you can't be asking your guests for fades that's what makes you hood stocks though right so it, i mean it's on brand but in the long run bro ain't no sponsors gonna want to deal with somebody that's getting lit every time on their podcast getting at getting at their pressing their guests <laughs> i think that's so funny though and so both of you fools need to get it together do better and i hope the best for you guys are both successful men already and you can but you can be even more successful if you stop doing the easy stuff and start doing the hard stuff that lasts longer everybody go check out lucky hoodstocks go check out lefty gun but i know he said f me on on the hater world podcast go check hater world out he still has the best you know program going on over there and uh, he just did a thing. I wasn't, bro, shout out to the hater world. He did like nine hours. I went, shot, or did this whole security event and a photography event. Came back and he was still on live. So you got to respect and salute someone that does that. But again, everybody, go, sh you know, show love to Lefty. Don't hate, go show love to Lucky. Lucky and Lefty you need to get together so they can keep going higher. And both of them need to start interacting with people outside of los angeles because la people i love la but it will not make you break you save you you need the rest of the world or at least the country to go anywhere so artists yes blow up in your area but please as soon as possible either leave your area or if you live in a big city maybe move to a different part and change and grow and it's a beautiful struggle like lefty gunplay says anyway one more time prayers and salutes to all the people down there to all the drama that's going on down there i'm actually going to try to calm that down and get back into what i was doing but hey you start speaking on me i'm going to bring it up you feel me so i feel like all my ops are dead you know what i mean so i'm gonna keep moving on it's lefty gunplay and lucky it's not an awkward it's not awkward <laughs> i love that it's my platform. <laughs> the Jewish, the Jewish part came out with him in that part. Huh? This is your boy Fortune One of the Fortune Life Podcast. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and support a real one in the field. Just trying to be the voice of reason for our people in Latino arts, entertainment, and education and culture. You feel me? Just trying to see what's going on, any of the crazy Tom Foy, but also just some of the good things that are going on for our people. I want to bring it to you live and direct. This is your boy Fortune One, and I'm out.